So let's look at the volume of a prism. So what is a prism? A prism is a 3D object with a uniform cross section. So basically it means that it's the same size slice at any height. So think about a Toblerone tube. And if you were going to cut it at any point along that tube, you would have exactly the same shape, exactly the same size, exactly the same slice. So the volume of a prism is the area of the base um, multiplied by the height. So our formula is V equals AH. Now the area of the base may be given or it may be calculated using one of the area formula that we've already encountered. So in the first example, we're gonna find the volume of the prism and this is a pentagonal based prism. And you can see that although it doesn't look like it's a base, the slice is going to be the shape of a pentagon. So this surface here is going to be my slice. And if I was to cut that shape at any point along that seven centimeter dimension for the height of my pentagonal prism, I would get an area of 25 centimeters squared in the shape of a pentagon. So my for formula is going to be V equals AH. I've got my area, so this is my area here, and this is my height here. So I'm gonna substitute that into my formula. So I've got 25 multiplied by seven, and that gives me 175, and my units were centimeters, and so my volume units are going to be cubic centimeters. Now in my second example, I want to find the volume of this prism. And this time I've got a trapezium based prism. And again, if I highlight the cross sectional area that I need to work out first, you can see that I've got a trapezium. And if I was gonna slice at any point along that 10 centimeter dimension, I would get a trapezium. But I need to calculate what the area of that trapezium is gonna be. So I know that my formula for the area of a trapezium is a half multiplied by A plus B multiplied by H. Now remember, if you don't remember that formula, you can cut your trapezium into two triangles and work out the areas of each triangle and add them together. So I know that A is the top edge that's parallel to B, which is the bottom edge, and I know that H is the four centimeters. So I'm gonna substitute that information into my area of the trapezium. And so I've got a half multiplied by eight plus 14, and that's multiplied by the four. Now remember, BODMAS says that I have to do the eight plus 14 first, and that gives me 22. And I'm gonna half that. That's 11 times four gives me an area of the trapezium of 44 centimeters squared or squared centimeters. Then I know that V equals the area times the height. So the area is 44 because I've just calculated it. Going back to my diagram, the height is 10. And so 44 times 10 gives me a volume of this prism of 440 cubic centimeters. Now, what about if I'm asked to find the volume of a cylinder? And this time they've given me an extra thing to do. I need to remember to round it to two significant figures. Now, a cylinder is made up of two circles, which are the flat edges, and then we've got a curved edge. So again, it's this surface here, this circular surface, that is my slice that's going to be the same slice wherever I was to cut that shape along that 15 meter length. So the area of a circle is A equals pi r squared. Now you can see I've been given the diameter of my cylinder, not the radius. So I need to work out what the radius is, and I know that the radius is the diameter divided by two. So I'm gonna half the diameter, and that leaves me with a radius of two meters. 
So now I can substitute that into my area and I'm going to have pi multiplied by 2 squared. And that gives me an answer of 12.5663 and so on squared meters. Now I just need to remember that V equals the area multiplied by the height. So I'm going to take my 12.566 and don't round on your calculator, use the answer button and I'm going to multiply that by the 15 and that gives me 188.49 and so on. Now it's asking me to round to two significant figures. So my first significant figure is that one. My second significant figure is that eight. So the question is asking me to round to the nearest 10. And I'm using the eight in the units column to decide what to do with the eight in the tens column. And five or more says I need to round up so 188.49 is going to be closer to 190 than it is to 180. So my final answer is going to be 190 and it will be cubic meters to two significant figures. I'm just going to write sig figs.